goes in the body, shoots, goes in the bloodstream, shoots the glycemic index up. It, it burns the body up. It, it's poison to the body. I have a list of 59 reasons, and I have two more on there. It feeds cancer. Refined sugar feeds cancer. Natural sugar, honey, pure maple syrup, not diluted with corn syrup, they are uh, in limited quantities are okay, are good for the body. But I can use it because it goes in the body very slowly into the digestion, not into the bloodstream, like uh, the refined sugar does. Yeah, but the two things I add on there, it, it feeds cancer. I someone they just put them in the hospital the other day, and they went and shoved the glucose into them, an IV of glucose. What is that? Liquid refined sugar. They're feeding that poor woman's cancer. She's already terminal. We're turning things around, and now they're going the other direction. But so we, I said, get her off that. They can do something else. Diabetics can't take. take they still get other things to get their electrolytes up and, and energy in the body. Uh, so the other thing is, remember, Camtron works by lowering the energy level so the cell cannot reproduce and, and disintegrates. Put some refined sugar in the body and zoom it right back up. The, the Camtron's not effective. It's got to stay down in the lower, in the closer to six tenths negative voltage, the, the better it's working. Sugar is going to run right back up to that two-tenths where cancer is happy again. You might as well pour a cantron down the sink. So stay away from the refined sugars, especially while you're taking cantron and got cancer. Uh, now, if people want to make appointments, they come out of my house, but you're not going to come out of my house and pick up a bottle of cantron. Unless you're going to spend five hours to know what you're doing with it. I don't charge for my time. I want you to... I'm not going to... I spend a lot of time... It's up to 6.34 last night, up at 8.30 this morning, to get tapes and to copy or anything else. Uh, Dorothy and I are out yesterday afternoon picking up eyedropper bottles. Uh, so uh, Dorothy and I are working, it seemed like every day, 24 hours a day. But uh, uh, we want our effort, which we're not making money on, we want our efforts to get results. And so we want you to know what you're doing. So if you want to call me and even ask morning, because I usually don't get to bed till 4 or 5 o'clock every night, and my day starts when the phone rings. So if I can sleep to 11 or 12 o'clock, I can get 6 or 8 hours maybe. But that hardly ever happens. Uh, this works on all abnormal cells. All abnormal cells. There are 60 some sort of diseases out there. Lupus, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, Alzheimer's, osteoporosis, arthritis. 60 some sort of diseases out there. I was supposed to have knee replacements back in 1996. Dr. Beaumont Hospital. I didn't want to believe it, so I went to Providence. Didn't tell him I was a Beaumont. He said I needed a knee replacement on my right knee right away, and I was going to need one person on my left knee. Never had those knee replacements. These are the two knees that never had. Any medical attention done to them since 1996? I'm 75. I'm doing an exercise level every other day, if I have time, of a 35-year-old. We have a program that you, there's things you need to rebuild the cartilage. You need things you need. Dorothy mentioned about things you, that help rebuild the liver. We, do, we have brain cancer. We need things that re, help rebuild the brain. All Canton's doing, and it does a very effective job of doing that, it gets rid of the abnormal cell. Yeah. I'll take a couple questions and we'll try to get some more testimonies in here. Yes. The only thing is, what what is his liver function capacity? So there's eight different things. There's a Billy Rubin, very common blood test. Up to 1.1, you're normal. I met my house the other day. Uh, he's on the program like that. He's doing it every six hours. He's just, he has a Billy Rubin of 15. Up to 1.1 is normal. He's 15. He's, he looks like a Chinaman. He's got white advisor all yellow. Yeah. 
He went from his colon to his liver and carried there by the chemo. Chemo is a toxic poison. Where do the toxins go? They go to your liver. So where did the chemo go? To the liver. Mm -hmm. They didn't say that they spread it to the liver with the chemo, but that's what they did. <laughs> okay. Well, they did the operation before they did the chemo. I've had people with, with, with colon cancer and liver cancer. Okay. I mean, I've had people... With, the, the woman I talked about a little while ago, she, she had cancer. She has uh, cervical cancer that's, uh, uh, she even called Cora and talked to Cora. It, she said cervical cancer, and now it's up in, into her stomach, up into her lungs, and up into her brain. And this is with over a year of all the medical things that have done that to her. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, edema is like that. Okay, go ahead. Well, no, I, uh, there's, there's lots of things that can be done like that. But the main thing he wants to do is get rid of his cancer. And Cantron, as long as a couple other things can do that. Okay. Yes? Uh, okay. See, we all have cancer. Have us controlling it. Now, you lose that control by the pancreas not being able to produce pancreatin, okay, primarily. That's about every case. Now, you, can't, you can repair the immune system, but you can't repair the pancreas to produce pancreatin. Now, maybe you may improve on your diet and all your other like that, but you're still going to have cancer back again. It's going to be back. Uh, Cora uh, sent home to die in October of 1988. Okay, semi-coma condition and down to 89 pounds. Uh, she goes in for a cancer checkup every year. They don't find any, never found any cancer. It used to be once a year she would take Cantron for a short period of time to flush out what came back during the year. Okay? I think she's currently on a, a she dabbles a little bit every day. You can either, you know, uh, dust every day or you can do a spring clean once a year. But it's adequate to do it because it takes two to four years normally. But if you clean house once a year, and I, I have a program I recommend people do, I tell people once the doctor doesn't see anything, you do it for two months afterward, get the stuff he can't see. Now you're, you're clean, but everything is still producing more cancer. You may have reduced the amount you're producing because you improved your diet like that, but you're still producing more cancer. It will be back. I don't care. It's just it takes longer to get back once you've had, you clean the body good with the cancer as opposed to dabbling that with uh, an operation here and there and taking a little bit of it out. Okay? But you, there's a program that you can make. The maintenance is primarily the Cantron, period. You don't need all the other things to address at that time. I take Cantron once a year for six weeks before my physical in January, a quarter teaspoon every six hours around the clock for six weeks. I flush out all the abnormal cells in my body, and the body's built to go to 150. I'm at midlife. I'm only 75. I've only got 75 more years to go. Because I'm doing that every year, okay? Plus, I'm eating better. I'm doing other things. I'm, I'm learning. I, do, I listen to myself when I tell other people, too. But Dorothy and I, we keep learning all the time. We try to... It's, it's not, we can't explain all this in the meeting. But, but we want you to know, at least, and that's the purpose of me, is to hear the testimony, so we get back some more testimony here, is to know that this stuff does work. And... Uh, if you, you want to get into more and you want to call me, uh, Dorothy normally supplies all the supplements and I, I, I usually start people out at the house and give them about a month's supply of the supplements and they can try which lasts four months if you have a... It, there's no side effects. It won't interfere with any other chemical drug. Just remember chemo. If you're taking chemo, it works against the Cantron a little bit, but you're still better off taking Cantron along with the chemo. Pardon me? Is it, is it written out the maintenance program, or is it just as you say, six weeks, uh, every six hours before you go in for your checkup? Uh, Cora, at one time, she used to do uh, a half a teaspoon, I think, in the morning, a half a teaspoon at night. Okay, remember I said 